So, obviously it'll be a lot clearer when we sent through to your computer uh -huh. and stuff, but you just saved it there, okay? So, you can see on this side here now how you're kind of leaning back a little bit on that right side. Right. And your sternum, or the center of you, is behind the golf ball, to the right of the golf ball, okay? Yeah. What we've got to try and do, see that left line there now yeah. from your foot upwards? You can see how your left hip now is through that line, yeah? You've moved into that left side, okay. and your center is on the golf ball, yeah? Okay. So you've moved yourself forward a little bit, and that's going to help right. you sort of get the flight, get the trajectory we're looking okay. for. When we're playing this shot, especially with a 9 on there, you're looking for the ball to go fairly low and then run most of the way. Yours are going quite high and then barely rolling when you made a reasonable contact. But to hit the shot in that fashion from behind the ball back here, you have to have a perfect lie. Yeah. And when you have a perfect lie, very often in practice, no problem. We got the golf course. Yeah, we rarely get a perfect know, lie, do we? So yeah. it's making sure we get ourselves in that better <laughs> setup. Because this one here now, as you go back, we can see that sort of flick there with the hands there, sort of right. twitching yeah. with the hands there, and the club yeah. taken, and a flick. This one here now, as you came back through, the hands have come back to the golf ball. Okay, at the point of contact, the hands are at least level with the ball still. Right. They haven't been overtaken. So when you swing through, you've kind of maintained. Yeah, like, that looks you've clean maintained that position there rather than that sort of scoop okay. as you had there. Okay, and that's going to come from just getting everything left of the golf ball and almost feeling like I said. Imagine I'm sort of up against you there, sort of my left, my right hip there is against your left, and you want to try and sort of stay into that left hip, keeping that club and this club fight flying low, keeping right. the ball flight down, keep the club working more low and around rather than out and then trying to flick it. It all uh, sounds very simple. Yeah, I think a good <laughs> simple drill would be, we can yeah. go up against the wall here now if you want to, yeah. but actually make some swings with the club next to the wall right. and just, or your skirting board at home. So if you imagine, I brought that club two sex. if I was up against here now, with the club kind of there, I just swing it around the body there, okay? Now, I'd recommend putting an older club just in case you did dink yes, the wall. Yes, you do. But exactly, but yeah, but just yeah. get the sensation of how that club, because what we're looking for is that club to be arcing around the body. There you go. So the club now is always there. What you'll see now is you'll, you may feel your weight sort of staying a bit more sort of centered rather than on your tiptoes. I think on occasion, especially on some of the longer shots, we see on the golf course, you d there you go, you see? Yeah. <laughs> you get a little bit kind of um, on your tiptoes, yeah? When you play these shots. So this is a quite a simple one you can do. Perhaps get an old club at home, sort of seven or eight times, you might have an old set and so on, and then get up against a skirting board or a wall at home yeah. or something just to find sort of where that strike's going to be. Ball, I'd be in trouble, eh? well, you, no, you wouldn't do that, would you? You make sure you wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> or what you, I mean, as daft as it may sound, you can put a book on the floor or something, just yeah. to, something that's going to give you some sort of impact that needs to be taller than a club shaft because if you put a club on the ground to give you the indication of the target line yeah. you can still swing over that club shaft make it a reasonable shot and you wouldn't then get the same sort of feedback so by having something that's going to be a good sort of I don't know, foot high shall we say at least the club if it does make it sort of redirection out onto your tiptoes you're going to get that feedback mm -hmm. best way but you can see when you're doing this now the club is moving left isn't it yeah. your left hand is moving past your body it's finishing over here somewhere, rather than staying back in the middle of your body and just flicking. Yeah, that's yeah? quite a good drill, that. I'd, I'd actually hit some golf balls potentially doing that with that. Because you've got to see the club now, there's no there's no forward motion yeah. into the golf ball, okay? Because if you do, you know you're going to think the wall, so. Yeah. Does that make sense, Antonio? Yeah, it does.